Welcome to Speaking English Fluently. Are you eager to boost your English speaking and listening skills effortlessly? Imagine being able to express yourself smoothly and understand conversations naturally, all while enriching your vocabulary with everyday words and phrases. Today, we're diving into a captivating story that not only practices your English skills, but also introduces you to 10 new, incredibly useful vocabulary words. Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm nine years old, and I live in New York with my family. Today, I'm super excited because we're going to visit the museum for the first time. I've seen it in movies, and now I'm going to see it in real life. As we walk into the museum, my eyes get wide. It's so big and full of people. The first thing I see is the giant skeleton in the main hall. I can't wait to explore more. The first stop is the dinosaur exhibit. There, standing tall and fierce, is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's so huge. I imagine it roaring and stomping around. Did you know T-Rex had really small arms? I wonder how it ate with those tiny arms. Next, we see the Easter Island statue. It's called a Moai. It looks so mysterious, staring with big eyes. I read that it was made a long time ago, far away on an island. How did it get here, all the way to New York? Then, we find the mammoth skeleton. It's like a giant, hairy elephant with huge, curvy tusks. I imagine it walking in the snow long, long ago. It's amazing to see something so old and so big. Walking around, I remember a movie that I watched and start to imagine, what if everything comes to life at night? The T-Rex chasing the food, the Moai telling stories, and the mammoth shaking its big, woolly body. That would be an amazing adventure. My favorite part of the day was standing next to the T-Rex. I felt so small, but so brave. It's incredible to think about how these creatures once roamed the earth, and now they stand still, letting us marvel at them. As the day ends, we leave the museum. I'm tired, but so happy. I learned a lot and had so much fun. I can't wait to come back and discover more. The museum is a magical place, and I'll never forget my first visit. Before we dive into our speaking practice, let's enrich our vocabulary with 10 new words and expressions from our story. Ready to expand your English horizon? Giant. Something very large. Example. The giant pizza was too big for the table. Dinosaur. A large extinct animal. Example. He loves reading books about dinosaurs. Fierce. Very strong or intense. Example. The dog had a fierce bark. Roar. A loud, deep sound. Example. You could hear the Leon's roar from far away. Stomp. Walk heavily. Example. He stomped at his feet to get the mud off. Statue. A figure usually made from stone or metal. Example. There's a statue in the park. Tusk. A long pointed tooth outside the mouth. Example. The elephant used its tusks to dig for water. Woolly, thick and soft like wool. Example, her woolly sweater kept her warm. Roam, to walk around without a plan. Example, the cat likes to roam around the neighborhood. Marvel, to feel amazed. Example, they marveled at the beautiful sunset. Wonderful. Now let's shift gears to speaking practice. I'll lead and you follow. Repeat after me and let's perfect those pronunciations together. Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm nine years old and I live in New York with my family.
Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm nine years old, and I live in New York with my family. Today, I'm super excited because we're going to visit the museum for the first time. Today, I'm super excited because we're going to visit the museum for the first time. I've seen it in movies, and now I'm going to see it in real life. I've seen it in movies, and now I'm going to see it in real life. As we walk into the museum, my eyes get wide. It's so big and full of people. As we walk into the museum, my eyes get wide. It's so big and full of people. The first thing I see is the giant skeleton in the main hall. I can't wait to explore more. The first thing I see is the giant skeleton in the main hall. I can't wait to explore more. The first stop is the dinosaur exhibit. The first stop is the dinosaur exhibit. There, standing tall and fierce, is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. There, standing tall and fierce, is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's so huge. I imagine it roaring and stomping around. It's so huge. I imagine it roaring and stomping around. Did you know T-Rex had really small arms? Did you know T-Rex had really small arms? I wonder how it ate with those tiny arms. I wonder how it ate with those tiny arms. Next, we see the Easter Island statue. It's called a Moai. Next, we see the Easter Island statue. It's called a Moai. It looks so mysterious, staring with big eyes. It looks so mysterious, staring with big eyes. I read that it was made a long time ago, far away on an island. I read that it was made a long time ago, far away on an island. How did it get here, all the way to New York? How did it get here, all the way to New York? Then, we find the mammoth skeleton. Then, we find the mammoth skeleton. It's like a giant, hairy elephant with huge, curvy tusks. It's like a giant, hairy elephant with huge, curvy tusks. I imagine it walking in the snow long, long ago. I imagine it walking in the snow long, long ago. It's amazing to see something so old and so big.
It's amazing to see something so old and so big. Walking around, I remember a movie that I watched and start to imagine, what if everything comes to life at night? Walking around, I remember a movie that I watched and start to imagine, what if everything comes to life at night? The T-Rex chasing the food, the Moai telling stories, and the mammoth shaking its big, woolly body. The T-Rex chasing the food, the Moai telling stories, and the mammoth shaking its big, woolly body. That would be an amazing adventure. That would be an amazing adventure. My favorite part of the day was standing next to the T-Rex. My favorite part of the day was standing next to the T-Rex. I felt so small, but so brave. I felt so small, but so brave. It's incredible to think about how these creatures once roamed the earth. It's incredible to think about how these creatures once roamed the earth. And now they stand still, letting us marvel at them. And now they stand still, letting us marvel at them. As the day ends, we leave the museum. I'm tired, but so happy. As the day ends, we leave the museum. I'm tired, but so happy. I learned a lot and had so much fun. I learned a lot and had so much fun. I can't wait to come back and discover more. I can't wait to come back and discover more. The museum is a magical place, and I'll never forget my first visit. The museum is a magical place, and I'll never forget my first visit. All right, with our new words and practice under our belt, let's immerse ourselves in the story once more. Listen closely as we bring the words to life. Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm nine years old, and I live in New York with my family. Today, I'm super excited because we're going to visit the museum for the first time. I've seen it in movies. And now I'm going to see it in real life. As we walk into the museum, my eyes get wide. It's so big and full of people. The first thing I see is the giant skeleton in the main hall. I can't wait to explore more. The first stop is the dinosaur exhibit. There, standing tall and fierce, is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's so huge. I imagine it roaring and stomping around. Did you know T-Rex had really small arms? I wonder how it ate with those tiny arms. Next, we see the Easter Island statue. It's called a Moai. It looks so mysterious, staring with big eyes. I read that it was made a long time ago, far away on an island. How did it get here? all the way to New York. Then we find the mammoth skeleton. It's like a giant, hairy elephant with huge, curvy tusks. I imagine it walking in the snow long, long ago. It's amazing to see something so old and so big. Walking around, I remember a movie that I watched and start to imagine, 
What if everything comes to life at night? The T-Rex chasing the food, the Moai telling stories, and the mammoth shaking its big, woolly body. That would be an amazing adventure. My favorite part of the day was standing next to the T-Rex. I felt so small, but so brave. It's incredible to think about how these creatures once roamed the Earth, and now they stand still, letting us marvel at them. As the day ends, we leave the museum. I'm tired, but so happy. I learned a lot and had so much fun. I can't wait to come back and discover more. The museum is a magical place, and I'll never forget my first visit. Your journey to becoming confident in English doesn't have to be a solo venture. Join our YouTube channel now, where every story is a step closer to fluency. Here, learning is not just effective, it's enjoyable and rewarding. Don't just learn English, live it with us. Subscribe and turn learning into a delightful experience. Let's make today the day you open the door to a world of English opportunities.